Woo! I don't know what to say on this. Mind blowing. What's up, the John Squad? This is John Pellini here, your YouTube World Heavy Wrestling Champion here on YouTube. And here's my WWE Monday Night Raw review for August 15th, 2016. What a WWE Monday Night Raw we had last night. We're going to get kick things off with Seth Rollins. Well, from earlier yesterday, from earlier in the daytime. So, we kick off WWE Monday Night Raw in Corpus Christi, Texas. That's right. I don't know if I pronounce it right, but ah, who cares right now? Ooh, okay. We kick it off with Seth Rollins from earlier today. That took place from earlier today, from yesterday. I don't know how to put it, but... Talking, he is talking outside and looking for the demon king Finn Balor. That's who he's looking for. So then Rusev opens up the show with Lana. She says her husband and her will not leave the ring and there will be no matches on Raw or anything else. Then out comes out comes Mick Foley. He's trying to get Rusev to leave the ring, but Rusev wants Stephanie McMahon out here, so he's like calling Stephanie McMahon out by saying, Stephanie McMahon, come out here right now, Stephanie. I want to have a word with you, but now Stephanie McMahon's all pissed at Rusev. She's saying like this to him, how could you disrespect Mick Foley, the guy that put his body on the line for over the years. And and you're not going to get respect, Rusev. So out comes Smiley McLaser tag, Roman Reigns. He comes out and he says he's sorry for what he did, but he's sorry for about that when them two have babies, Rusev and Lana, that they're, they're going to turn out to be ugly. Do I think so? Nope, but it was all part of the storyline. I thought it was funny when he said that. So so then, what happens is that R R Roman Reigns wants the match for the US title, but nope, it's not going to take place tonight. Because Rusev is going to defend Lana in honor of Lana. He's going to defend her. So Mick Foley makes it be a match for the main event. Roman Reigns versus Rusev and for the defend of Lana. Boy, a lot have happened here. Look how many paper sheets I got. The first match, the very first match we had on Raw was Sheamus versus Zami Zayn. The winner is Zami Zayn. That's right, he is the winner. Zami Zayn defeated Sheamus by the distraction of Cesaro. So then Cesaro and Sheamus are going backstage, and that means now at SummerSlam, we're going to get a best of sevens match. That's what we're going to get. Cesaro versus Sheamus for best of seven match. Which you're going to hear my pay-per-view predictions coming up during the week. So stay tuned and subscribe. The second match we had on Raw was the Dudley Boys. What's up? Versus the New Day. New Day rocks. And then we had that uh, Luke Gals and Carl Anderson were on top of the screen. Showing about like... Egging stuff or something, the microwave or something. They looked like they were doctors about to do operations. Just so silly. But the winner of that match is, and the New Day beat the Dudley Boys. That's good right there. And then the New Day got on the mic is saying that we're going to take this serious, and that means last year we were WWE Tag Team Champions at SummerSlam, and we won them. So we're going to take our stuff serious. So then the third match of the night one more we have is. Nina Jax versus Rachel Lee, I think her name was, or Rachel Levi. Well, the winner of that match is Nina, De Nina Jax. She gets the win, so that's what happens right there. We had an in-ring pro We had, ah, botched it right there. We had an in-ring promo with Paul Heyman and Brock Lesnar. Paul Heyman tries to talk on the mic, but... He's just a one-man band. Da, 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 da. Out comes Heath Slater. And I'm like this. 
Oh, God. That's what I'm thinking. So, Heath Slater comes out. He talks to Paul Heyman and, and Brock Lesnar. Says that he is the hottest free agent in WWE. Paul Heyman laughs at him like, ha, 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 ha. Like that. You, you can leave now because I'm trying to save you from getting your ass kicked by Brock Lesnar. So, Brock Lesnar says that he, uh, oops, the belt's falling though. So he's saying this to him that um that um what you saying to him that uh Brock Lesnar said to him like he he respects him and that he appreciates that him coming out here, but then this is what happens that he sort of says he has kids and Brock Lesnar is like this to him, and they did have to mute this but I caught it so I wrote it down, he does not give a shit about kids, so then. Brock Lesnar demolishes Heat Slater and give him a Suplex City twice and an F5. Poor Heat Slater. When's he ever gonna get picked up? I hope he does soon. I I, I feel bad for Heat Slater. Like, come on, somebody just sign the guy already. Whew! What a great Raw this has turned out to be so far last night. The next match we had on Raw was Big Cass versus Kevin Owens. And I don't know, I don't know if this was a winner or something, but the winner is Big Cass because I think that due to Jericho attacking him outside the ring, so Big Cass is the winner of the match. I think, I don't know, but I'm just thinking that Big Cass is the winner of the match. And so then Kevin Owens and Chris Jericho just... Beat down on Big Cass, so in the ring, I don't know where Enzo was, I guess Enzo got ejected or something, so that's what happened right there. The next match we had on Raw was the Primetime Players reunited together versus the Shining Stars, but can the Primetime Players get along together? Unfortunately, no, because the Shining Stars win the match after Titus and Hill gave Darren Young the title. The Clash of Titus, so that's what I mean, just picks him up and boom, he just gives him the Clash of Titus. Another match we had on Raw was Neville versus J Jinder Mahal, that's right, Jinder Mahal. The winner of that match was Neville, that's great right there, I'm happy for that one, that belt's getting annoying. Then we had Seth Rollins. Right, my guy, Seth Rollins, calls out Demon King. Rollins talks about his story lessons and that the Demon King, that the entire thing to cinch his teeth in, that there is no one to stop him. I promise you that he will give him one more chance to come out there. And then he says that he will become the first ever ESPN will look and everybody else in the sports world will look and see that he is the first universal champion. So then out comes the Demon King, Finn Balor. Finn Balor and Finn Balor comes out like ooh. Ah, ooh. Ah. And I don't know if you all caught this too, but I thought it was pretty funny hilarious how Rollins just how fans try to go in the ring and attack Rollins and Rollins just Made a face at him. I caught that like a fan jumped into the ring. And it's funny too. A Cole tried to get it off by saying like he just saw a trance or something like that. So then Rollins is just trying to ignore it. I think Rollins should be the first ever Universal Champion. He's doing a lot of things Seth Rollins. So and none of that stuff. Let's just continue on with this. So now the Demon King Finn Balor comes out. And then they both have a stare down. What happens from that now? They're both punching, punching, back and forth, punching, punching, back and forth. And then Finn Balor beats up on Rollins and tries tries to give him the crusade off of the rope. Rollins moves, and then Finn Balor dies out on top of Rollins. And Finn Balor, the Demon King, Finn Balor is standing tall. Whew. The next match you had on Raw was Golden Truth versus... Luke Gallows and Carl Anderson. The winner of that match is Luke Gallows and Carl Anderson. The New Day attack Gallows and Carl Anderson. The, then we had another match in a row we had was Charlotte versus Alicia Fox. The winner of that match is Charlotte. But after the match, Becky... Ah, uh, botching it again. Uh, 
Sasha Banks comes to the ring, wants to face down Charlotte, but Charlotte puts the figure eights in her, and that's what ends that segment. So the referees are trying to break them up. Dana Brooks is actually, um, you know, in the ring trying to attack Charlotte, but the referee won't let her, not attack Charlotte, uh, attack um, Sasha Banks. So that's what happens right there. And. That's what happened. So now we move on to the main event of the night. We had was Roman Reigns versus Rusev, and the winner of that match is Smiley Mick Laser Tag Roman Reigns. So now he is the winner, and Roman Reigns is standing tall on top of the turnbuckle, doing this to end Raw. Well, that's my WWE Raw review for August fifteenth. 2016. Once again, John Squad, if you like this Raw review, I know I botched it a couple times, but please like this video if you loved it. Leave your comments down below on what you thought about WWE Raw. I will do my best to reply back to you, and I want you all to please subscribe for more. This is how the best I can do it. This is how I do. I write down every day on a sheet of paper during the show. That's how I write down, and I wrote down what happened last night. So, once again, Please like this video, leave your comment down below on what you thought about Raw, and subscribe for more. Peace out, John Squad. You're all the best. You're one of a kind. Don't forget, think positive today, and just be happy. Peace. Boy, what's going to happen at SummerSlam?